What's going on, guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight, we're going to be doing another beer battle. This time, it's going to be Natural Light versus the returning, to my area at least, the Yingling Light Lager. Now, the reason we're doing this is because I actually wasn't able to find this beer for about three months. I seen it one weekend about three months ago in Walmart, and I got two 12-packs of it. They were gone by the end of the weekend. By the next, by the time the next weekend came around, I went to buy more. They didn't have it. No gas station had it. No liquor store had it. No Walmart had it. No grocery store had it. Nobody had it. So I just chalked it up and said, you know, it's just a fluke. I even called places and asked for the stuff. I just thought it was here by mistake. It was someone got the wrong shipping. Something went wrong. But yesterday I went to Walmart and they had literally a giant stack, probably three to four feet tall of nothing but Yingling Light Lager in 12 packs. Now it does run probably close to $13 after tax for a 12 pack of this stuff. But I will pay that every time because this is my favorite light beer. Unless tonight we find that somehow I'm wrong about that and Natural Light actually ends up winning the blind beer battle. So that's what we're going to find out. I've done beer battles with this beer a couple of times. I can't remember exactly what it went up against. Oh, Coors Light and Miller Light. It beat both of them. So we'll see if Natural Light can be the one to dethrone the Yingling Light Lager. Now, Yingling Light Lager is coming in at 4% ABV. I believe that's the case, at least. Yes, 4.0, and this Natural Light coming in at 4% or 4.2%. So, the control group will be the Natural Light, and we will use the glass with the tape on the bottom for the Natural Light. So, let's go ahead and pour these up, get them into their designated glasses, and we will begin this Blind beer battle. Now, it's going to definitely be blind because these beers are two different colors. Yingling Light Lager is actually quite a dark beer for it to be a light beer. It's like an amberish color almost. So, the natural light. Now, let's pour the Yingling Light. Yeah, you can just see just how much darker that is. All right. Yeah, look at that. There's a clear difference there. A thicker, more prominent head as well on the Yingling Light longer than there is the natural light. Okay, so we got them poured up. Also, the Yingling Light seems to be just a little bit more carbonated. I don't know if you got you guys can't see the bubbles. You see the bubbles in that, but this is kind of hard to see because of how dark the beer is. But, as always, there's a head on this beer. There's not on the Natural Light. No surprise there. We will be right back after this head dies down. We'll mix them up. We'll give them a taste, so be right back. All right, guys, we are back. The head has died down quite a bit. It doesn't look that way to you guys, but it's just around the sides of the glass. I won't be able to tell anything. I won't be able to feel that, basically. It's about as equal as this, actually. It's, there's just a good amount of lacing on that glass right now. So we're going to close our eyes. We're going to mix them up. We're going to taste them. We're going to see, am I right about this? Do I really like Yingling Light Lager as much as I say I do? Or as much as I think I do? Let's find out. Closing our eyes. And let's mix them up. Get them nice and mixed up to where we don't remember anything. We don't know which beer is which. And there will be no indication to tell us which beer is which. Other than the taste. I'm curious to see, will I be able to tell the difference? I was able to tell the difference pretty easily with Coors Light and Miller Light, so. Mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. Go back this way a couple of times. And then, boom. 
Now, if both beers are mixed up, we are now gonna taste each beer. We're gonna go with beer number two. Cheers. Okay. As always with these beers, it is crisp, clean, and refreshing. But, let's see what beer number one has to offer for us. Interesting. So we do have two different flavor profiles here. We have one beer that is a cleaner, more refreshing beer, and then the other one's more of like a... Now I, I don't want to say dirty, but just not as crisp and like refreshing as the other one. I'm not going to tell you which beer that is because I'm still tasting them. Okay, I tasted a little something there. There's a little, there's just a little something there, which might already be telling me which is which. They both have their points, though, I'll be honest. They both have good flavors. But which one has the better flavor? I feel like this one is smoother. But this one... Hold on. Before I say too much... This one has, seems to have a little bit more flavor. This is difficult because they're both they both have their they both have their place. They're both good for what they are. But I'm just trying to decide which one should I go with? The one that's smoother or the one that has more flavor because it's good that a beer is smooth but it's also good if a beer has more flavor ah now this one tastes like it has more flavor than this one. What is going on? No, no. All right. My opinion's now flipped. Uh, smoother. And now this one's also has, seeming like it has more flavor than this one. 
this one almost feels like it would be would be higher quality hmm okay I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take one more sip we're gonna see if we can guess which one's which we're gonna pick a winner if there is a winner Okay. After that sip, I think it's kind of it's kind of clear now. I'm gonna take a guess and say that this is natural light. This is Yingling light lager. Therefore, the winner. What? I am so confused. So the winner apparently is natural light. But in the beginning, I thought that this beer had more flavor. This beer tasted better. This one was smoother, had less flavor. So I kind of went with that simply because of just how smooth it actually is. This one has the most flavor. This one has the most lacing. But I said, I, I was going to say this is the winner, but I'm doing that based, based off of smoothness. This has the be this has more flavor though. See, I was kind of thinking that natural light was the one that kind of had that more of a pungent type of a flavor to it. Now I'm, I'm questioning myself. I'm questioning whether I even made the right call to begin with because the whole time this beer had more flavor and then it kind of switched to this, but then in the end, for the first time in Beer View's history, I have no idea what to do. I said that this is the winner based on the smoothness. But this has more flavor. And in my eyes, this is the better tasting beer. But I went with this one because of the smoothness. Because I was sitting there, I was thinking light beer, smoothness. Yingling light lager has a little bit more flavor than your typical light beer. But I said... <laughs> I don't know if I should stick with that because I don't actually believe that this is better than this. I do not. Yeah. This is smooth. Like it's like drinking water. But this one tastes better. I don't know what to do, guys. I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know how to score this. I don't know if I should... Because to me, in my eyes, it doesn't feel right to continue this saying that that's the winner. But I said it was the winner. But again, that was based off of how smooth and easy drinking it was. This one tastes better. And I can already see it in the comments. No, you just you just realized that uh, you were wrong, and uh, that was natural light, or that you 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 realized natural light beat the beer that you said's the best light beer. So yeah, no, that's not the case. The case is, <clears throat> I cannot allow this beer to win when this is the better beer. But now, now that I said that was the winner. Now we have a big, we have some confusion. We have a mistake. I made a mistake. Therefore, in this beer battle, it's gonna end messy. Because I don't know if I should say it's a draw. I don't know if I should say it's undecided. 
or if I should just say Yingling Light is the better tasting beer. It's definitely the better looking beer. It's definitely the higher quality beer. Look at the lacing. Look at the lacing. It's a better looking beer. It's a better tasting beer. I make my own rules on this channel. Yingling Light wins. I can hear the boos from the crowd as we speak. But Yingling Light is the better beer. I was wrong in saying that this wins because of how smooth it is. It is very smooth and easy drinking because it has less flavor. This is a light beer with more flavor. And judging by that, no. Nah. Natural Light can't take the win if it simply doesn't taste, has the, the, the flavor profile of the Yingling Light Lager. Yingling Light Lager wins. So we'll just see how the comment section goes tomorrow. We can redo this in the future, but I already, I'm already going to know. I could, I could mix these up right now and tell you definitively which beer is the best and which one's which. We'll do it. We will actually do it. This is going to be one hell of a long video. We're going to do it one more time. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to mix these beers up. We're just going to see, is that, is that the case? Which beer tastes the best? Well, I already know which beer tastes the best, but I also know which beer is smoother. Natural Light is smoother. Yingling Light tastes better, though. All right, so they're mixed up. Let's taste them. This will determine which beer is the best. Beer number one. Beer number two. Easy. Beer number two wins. And I was right. Yingling Light Lager. This has more flavor and tastes better than Natural Light. Natural Light's a lot cheaper. You can get a 12 pack or you can get a 15 pack here in Missouri for about 11 bucks. This is about 13 after tax for a 12 pack. But I just did it again. I just completely mixed them up. I tried them again. That's the result. Yingling Light Lager wins. This was a mistake. Not the beer. I'm not saying the beer was a mistake. I'm saying the choice was a mistake. I went off of it based on its smoothness because I was thinking light beer. But if I'm going to drink a light beer, I want a bit light beer with more flavor. This tastes more like a full, full flavored beer. But it's like in between a light and a full. And that's why I like it. Yingling Light Lager is your winner and still undefeated. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.